now, for I am safe with you. If your hands out, we sing. So when I fight, I fight on my knees, with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet, I sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs. And if you are for me, who can be against me? Yes, my Jesus. For Jesus, there's nothing impossible for you. For the earth began to shake And 
church. Can you just lift your hands with me once again? Come on, hallelujah. Come on, lift them up high, hallelujah. All hail King Jesus. Let every knee shall bow. Let every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come on, church, declare that today. Every tongue confess. Every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. Oh, and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. He reigns. Hallelujah. He sits on His throne. Hallelujah. He is in control. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are sovereign, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we proclaim it today. Come on, church. Hallelujah, Lord God. Once again, Lord, let your church, let your people experience breakthrough worship right now. In Jesus' name, Lord. Hallelujah. Come to Him. Come on. Hallelujah. Surrender everything. Hallelujah. Oh, and rise up. Victorious. Hallelujah. Rise up, oh God. With thanksgiving in your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are good, Lord. You are faithful, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill, oh God, every home, Lord. Fill every heart, Lord. Oh God, with worship, Lord. With breakthrough worship, Lord. Set our spirits free, Lord. That we may worship you, oh God. You alone deserve all our praise, all the glory, all the power. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. We are forever grateful, Lord. We are forever thankful for what you have done for us, Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for setting us free, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are our parakletos. Hallelujah. We are not alone. Not by might, nor by power, but by your Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unconditional love for us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today, once again, we come to you with open hearts. We're ready to be refreshed, renewed, and revived today. Bless our hearts and our spirits. Bless your word, bless your servant, and bless your people today. We give you all the glory, Jesus. This we ask in your name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen, and Amen, and Amen. Come on, church, hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty, mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. Everybody shout, hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hello, church. Hallelujah. How are you today? Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray that you are open and ready to receive from God today. Are you ready to receive from God today? Come on, church. Hallelujah. I speak life and grace to you now. Hallelujah. I speak life and grace to you now. Hallelujah. And before you sit down, give your neighbor a high five at sabihin mo lang sa kanya, I love you. Hallelujah. Come on. Sabihin mo lang sa kanya, love you, love you, love you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We can all be seated in His presence today. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Are you blessed today, church? Welcome to our church online and see you soon to our in-person church celebration. You'll be excited. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We will be giving you the date soon. Hallelujah. Right now, we are preparing our church building with all the protocols. In the meantime, tell your neighbor right now, be patient. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, praise God. Are you ready for the Word? Are you ready for the Word? 
Praise God. Praise God. Sit comfortably today and open your heart, open your spirit, because God is about to speak to you once again today. Everybody say, I'm ready. Hallelujah. I'm ready to listen. Praise God. Come on, say that again. I'm ready to listen. Hallelujah. Okay. Let me start off with a story. Are you ready for a story today? Let me, let me tell you a story of a man who became an instant hero. Ikukwento ko po sa inyo ang isang lalaki na instantly naging bayani siya. You know why? Because he jumped off a cruise ship to save a drowning woman. Lumundag siya sa isang barko para iligtas ang isang nalulunod na babae. Wow, hallelujah. Kaya nga naging instant bayani itong lalaki na to. So, a formal dinner was set in honor of him. Everybody was excited. Everybody was happy. Everybody was thankful for this extraordinary courage. Na-bless sila sa, kanilang, sa kanyang tapang. Full of admiration to the man who dared jump to rescue a woman na hindi man niya kilala. So before the special dinner was about to end, they called this man, this hero, to stand and come on the platform and hear him speak. Medyo nahihiya po siya, a little shy. He reluctantly went to the stage and everyone was clapping. May standing ovation po siya. Yung palakpak talaga, excited na marinig ang bayani na tao na to. Hallelujah. Excited and in awe. Talagang bilib na bilib yung mga tao sa kanya. Then, silence. There was a silence. Waiting for his every word to come out of his mouth. Waiting for him to speak. And he began to speak and said, I... Woo! Sabi ng mga tao, ay pala nga sinabi niya. Woo! Sabi na, I just... Woo! Sabi ng mga tao, dun pala, two words pa lang talagang humihiyaw na yung mga tao. Sabi niya, I... I... just want to ask one thing. Sabi niya. Who pushed me? Everybody's jaw dropped. What? Sabi ng mga tao. Sabi niya, sino tumulak sa akin? So apparently, the story behind pala is that he did not jump. Somebody pushed him. May tumulak sa kanya. Kayo po ba'y nandiyan? Ito pala pakal muna natin si Lord John. Buti na lang, marunong siyang lumangoy at wala na siyang choice. Sinagip niya yung babae. Hallelujah. Hindi pala siya lumundag. Tinulak lang siya. And everybody said, Amen to that. Hallelujah. Well, uh, kahit siya ay tinulak, itong lalaki na to, in my book, He's still my hero. Can I hear an amen? He's still a hero. Everybody say, he's a hero. Hallelujah. So today, I want to speak to you on the message entitled, You Need a Little Push. Hallelujah. Praise God. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, You Need a Little Push. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the title of our message today. You Need a Little Push. For us at His Life, dito po sa church po natin, His Life City Church, Ang ibig po sabihin ng push, Pastor Jerry, you are here right now. Sa amin po na taga his life, you know, for, uh, for you have been with us all these years, alam naman po natin ang ibig sabihin ng push. So, diba? Push means pray until something happens. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Pray until something happens. It's called the power of prevailing prayer. We believe this. We practice it. And we have experienced the results. No? Hindi tayo tumitigil sa kakapanalangin kasi alam natin may resulta kapag tayo ay nanalangin. Can I hear an amen? Everybody say, push! Come on, hallelujah, praise God. Kaya nga sa James chapter 5, verse 16, sinasabi sa atin, the earnest, hallelujah, fervent 
prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Ang mga taong hindi tumitigil talagang na manalangin, hallelujah, pray until something happens fervently, earnestly, hallelujah, sabi dyan, may power and it produces a wonderful Resource. Tell your neighbor right now, don't give up praying. Come on, hallelujah. Push, everybody say, push, hallelujah. Whew. Hallelujah. Ang dami na po mga sagot sa panalangin. Kaya nga meron tayong araw-araw na prayer works. Tell your neighbor right now, join our prayer works. Hallelujah, praise God. Because we believe in the power of prayer. Hallelujah. Especially yung mga fervent, earnest prayer. Ang tawag dyan, push. Pray until something happens. And everybody said amen. Today, we're going to talk about something more. Can I hear an amen? That's not my main point today. Are you ready for the word? Tell your neighbor right now, you need a little push. Hallelujah. Alam po, sa ating pong mga Pilipino, ang mga Pilipino, meron pong mga magagandang kaugalian. Meron po silang magagandang mga uh, practice. Meron tayong magandang kultura. Meron din po tayong hindi masyadong magandang kultura. Isa po sa hindi magandang kultura nating mga Pinoy ay yung tinatawag nating crab mentality. Everybody say crab mentality. Yung utak talangka. Wow, hallelujah. Crab mentality. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Yung, you know, instead of uh, pushing others up, ang ginagawa ng, mara, uh, ng ibang mga Pilipino, uh, they pull, uh, pull others down. Imbis na itulak pataas yung kasama niya, kaibigan niya, hinihila niya pababa. Ang tawag dyan, crab mentality. Kayo po ba yun pa? Instead of pushing people to encourage them, you know, some Filipinos, they pull them. Which is a bad culture. Everybody say, you need a little push. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Tell your neighbor, you need a little push. Hallelujah. See, you and I need a little push so you can do something you have never done before. Kung may isa para makagawa tayo ng mga bagay na hindi pa natin nagawa sa buong buhay natin, kailangan lang merong mag-push sa atin at sasabihin, kaya mo yan. Can I hear an amen? Come on, sabi mo sa katabi mo, kaya mo yan. Hallelujah. You need a little push so you can do something you've never done before. There is a hero. Just like that man. There is a hero inside of you. I call that a victorious spirit. There is a hero inside of you that needs to be unleashed and all it takes is a little push. Everybody say push. Na kapag may nag-push sa'yo, hindi mo alam. Kaya mo palang gawin yun. Ikaw mismo na surprise ka. You know, you are surprised with a little push. Nagawa mo yung hindi mo dating nagagawa. That push can be the hand of God. That push can be the voice of Jesus speaking to you. That push can be the whisper of the Holy Spirit. Or that push can be a person God uses to push you. It, you know, it takes different forms. No? Kung isan yung push na yan, kamay ng Diyos, tinig ni Jesus, o bulong ng banal na spirito, o isang tao na ginamit ng Diyos para ikaw ay i-push para makagawa ng mga bagay na hindi mo pa nagawa sa buhay mo. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord dyan. Palapakan natin si Lord dyan. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because when God pushes you, He enables you. When He says go, He will say, I will be with you. Everybody say go. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, hallelujah. Pwede pa natin palapakan si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. Siguro pwede na tayo dyan. Hallelujah, no? Pwede na natin close yung prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody say, you need a little push. Hallelujah. Whew. You need a little push just like Peter. Just like Peter. All it took is a little push from Jesus' voice calling him. Ito lang. 
come on. Sabi niya kay Peter. No? Yun lang. Yun lang kailangan ni Peter. A little push from the voice of Jesus. When he heard the voice of Jesus, the, come on, walk with me on the water. Yun lang kailangan ni Peter para makalakad siya sa ibabaw ng tubig. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord yan. Hallelujah. Whew. A, a little push from the voice of Jesus saying, come on, Peter, walk with me. Then he was able to walk above the water. By the way, para maintindihan natin ito, no? yung context ito, nung lumakad si Pedro sa ibabaw ng tubig, it was not a quiet water. Are you with me right now? There was high winds and waves. Malalakas ang alon nung siya ay nakalakad. Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Hindi yung naglakad siya na tahimik ang tubig. Talagang maalon. Hallelujah. There was high winds and high waves. Kaya it took, it took a lot of guts on Peter. Pero a little push, yung tinig lang ni Jesus, yun ang nagpalakas ng loob sa kanya. Para lumundag. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Come on, hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, ito yan eh, no? Who gave, what gave Peter the confidence to follow his voice and just like that, he stepped out onto the waves without a surfboard. Kasi po malalakas yung alon eh, no? Ano nagbigay ng confidence, ng lakas ng loob kay Peter na lumundag, No? Out of the boat, with the high waves, wala siyang surfboard. Hallelujah. Sino po nito yung, namimiss niya yung San Fernando La Union. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ano yung talagang uh, nagsusurf ka. Hallelujah. In, even in the high waves of uh, the Califo- California. Hallelujah. Praise God. Where a lot of surfers are. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Let me just say hi to our uh, church in His Life LA. Pray. Can we give them a big, big hand, church? Hallelujah. Praise God. And all the His Life churches, you know, uh, in the different parts of our nation. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Oh, praise God. Praise God. Ito yung tanong. What gave Peter the confidence to follow his voice? And just like that, he stepped out into the waves without a surfboard. Can you imagine that? Now, let me give you a little context. Let me give you a little back story. Bago po nangyari itong miracle na ito, ito yun eh. Peter, look at your Bible in Matthew chapter 14, ito po yan eh. Peter just witnessed a great miracle. Bago siya nakaranas ng kanyang personal na miracle, nakakita po siya ng isang malaking himala. Ano pong himala yun? He has just a, witnessed a great miracle where, ito po yan, pakita nyo, a little boy. Everybody say, a little boy. Come on, everybody say, a little boy. Hallelujah. Thank you. No? He has just witnessed a miracle where a little boy, a little boy's lunch with five loaves and two fish. No? Tignan nyo ito, no? Five loaves and two fish was multiplied a thousand times and fed a great multitude, about 15,000, nakakain po with only five loaves and two fish, and it came from a little boy's lunch. Are you with me right now? Ang tawag po dyan, it was a miracle of provision. How many are expecting a miracle of provision? Come on, hallelujah, praise God, praise God. Last Sunday, you know, there was a prophetic uh, release to, uh, to us. Yung, uh, some of you were about to experience a major, major breakthrough. You know, meron na po kami ng mga nabalitaan na nakaranas ng mga major breakthrough of God's provision. Isa na po dyan ay si uh, Pastor... Uh, Russell, no, talagang, uh, she, he was just telling me, you know, that uh, uh, her, 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 his wife got promoted. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Pwede natin pala po kasi, Lord, dyan, in the midst of pandemic, hallelujah, promotion has come. Can I hear an amen? Pala pala muna si Lord, dyan. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Woo. Everybody say amen. amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. See, ito yan eh, no? Ito yung backstory. Yung pinanggalingan ng confidence ni Peter, yung kagagaling lang niyang makawitness ng miracle of provision. This experience gave him the confidence to believe that he, if he can, if God, if Jesus can do that to that little boy, 
He can do it to a big boy like him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Could you look at your neighbor right now? Is he a little boy or a big boy? Hallelujah. Praise God. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Yung little boy nakaranas ng Himala. Sabi ni Peter, ako big boy na ako. Gusto kong maranasan yung Himala. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. If he can do that to that little boy, he can do it to a big boy like me. Hallelujah. And all it took is a little push from Jesus' voice calling him saying, Come on, Peter. Come on. Come on. High five your neighbor. Say, come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whew, come on. This time, come on. Hallelujah. Kumisan niya lang ang kailangan natin eh. Na marinig. Come on. Let's read, let's read the story. Matthew 14, 24 to 29. But the disciples who were now in the middle of the lake, run into trouble for their boat was tossed about by the look at this high winds and heavy seas at about four o'clock in the morning jesus came to them what, what does it say jesus came to them walking not on not just on uh, steel quiet water jesus came to them walking on the waves Without a surfboard, by the way. Hallelujah. Praise God. When the disciples saw him walking on top of the water, they were terrified and screamed, Oh, it's a ghost. Next line. Then Jesus said, Oh, hallelujah. I don't have any Jesus. Be brave. Tell your neighbor right now, be brave. Hallelujah. And don't be afraid. Jesus said, I am here. Be brave. And don't be afraid. I am here. Is Jesus speaking to you right now with these words? Do you, hear his, do, you, do you hear Jesus speaking to you personally right now and saying, Be brave. Don't be afraid. He is here. He is with you. And everybody said, Amen to that. Hallelujah. Peter shouted out, Ito na yung time ni Peter. Sabi ni, siguro the back of the mind of Peter, Lord, yung little boy nakaranas ng Himala. This is my time, Lord. So Peter shouted out, Lord, sabi niya, If it is really you, then, help me join you on the water. Ako naman, Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody say, ako naman. Hallelujah. Amen. Sabi, ano sabi ni Jesus? Come. Everybody say, come. Jesus said to him, come and join me. Jesus replied. So, with a little push from Jesus, Peter stepped out onto the water and began, ano nakalagay? Began to walk toward Jesus. Are you with me, church? Are you with me, church? Listen very carefully. Do not stop. I repeat. Do not stop at the miracle of provision. Are you with me right now? No? Kung minsan, ilan ho sa atin, no, talaga hanggang doon na lang. No, no, no. It is just the beginning. Can I hear an amen? Don't stop at the miracle of provision. Dare to walk through tough situations. Maaring, siguro hindi lang ilan, kundi karamihan sa atin, merong mga matitinding mga pagsubok, you know, tough situations. Mga, mga, kayo ay binabayo na malalakas sa hangin. Hallelujah. No, Ay po ba'y nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Pero ito yung challenge. Don't stop at the miracle of provision. Dare to walk through tough situations like the waves of the sea. Maybe for some of you, up and down situations. Pabago-bago ang sitwasyon mo. Paiba-iba ang problema. Like Peter, you need a little push. Come on, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor right now, you need a little push. Hallelujah. All it takes is just follow his voice. Keep walking by faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Follow His voice. Keep walking by faith. And keep your eyes on Jesus. Whew. And we say, Amen. Sino po rito yung nabibless sa ating mga hope stories sa prayer words? Come on. Sino nabibless po ba kayo sa mga hope stories natin sa prayer words? Alam nyo, you know, uh, just this week, no, yung itong week na to talagang merong isang hope story na talagang uh, na-bless po ako. Isang sentence lang na kanyang sinabi, talagang literally kinausap ako ng Holy Spirit. Grabe. No, ang lakas nung dating sa akin nung kanyang binitawang mga salita. No, sa kanyang patutuo, hallelujah, sa ginawa ni Lord sa kanyang buhay. Ito lang yung kanyang conclusion na gusto kong i-share din sa inyo. Maybe you've heard this before at hindi nyo napansin. Pero ako napansin ko. No? 
Sana mangusap din sa inyo. Ito lang ang sinabi niya. Ang sabi niya, at the end of the day, you know, just to paraphrase what she said, ang sitwasyon lang natin ang nagbabago, pero ang Diyos natin, hindi nagbabago. Hallelujah. Gustong gusto ko yan. Hallelujah. Nung sinabi po niya yun, talaga kinausap ako na Holy Spirit. Ang lakas nung dating. Ang sitwasyon lang natin ang nagbabago. Pero ang Diyos, hindi nagbabago at, at hindi hindi siya magbabago. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Kamang palapakan mo muna si Lord John. Amen. Ito yan. Kahit papagubago ang sitwasyon, kahit pa iba-iba ang problema, keep walking by faith. And everybody said, Amen. Walk above the ways as you follow His voice, as you keep your eyes on Jesus. Did you hear that, church? Hallelujah. Sino po nabibless kayo pong oras na ito? Hallelujah. Praise God. Sino po kinakausap ni Lord sa oras na ito? Hallelujah. Whew. Ang gawin mo lang, no? it takes a lot of discipline. Don't look at the waves. Like Peter, for a moment, <laughs> we know the story. He took his eyes off Jesus. Nakatingin siya kay Jesus. Bigla siya, napagano'n. Ay, nakita niya, oh, malakas-lakas ka pala yung hangin at alo. Ah, no, so, so the moment na nawala yung paningin niya kay Jesus, the Bible says, immediately he started sinking. Siya yung lumabog. Hallelujah. Para yung babaya. At buti na lang, hallelujah, si Peter, talagang alam niya kung sino tatawagin niya. Can I hear an amen? Pag lumulubog ka na, hallelujah, alam mo na kung sino tatawagin mo. Can I hear an amen? Sabi niya, Jesus, Lord, save me. Hallelujah. Sabi ng Bible, immediately, hallelujah, the hand of Jesus took him, hallelujah, and bought, eh, eh, talagang, and lifted him up. Dinala siya sa, ba sa bangka. Can I hear? Ani, pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord John? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Ramdam mo ba na para bagang medyo nalulunod ka na sa tindi ng problema? Call upon the name of the Lord. Alam niyo naman, naman, alam niyo naman ang telephone number ni Lord, Jeremiah 33.3. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Ano po yung Jeremiah 33.3? Hallelujah. What is that? Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Sabi ho ng Jeremiah 33.3. And everybody said, Amen. And all it takes is to cry out and say, Lord, save me. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is life. Jesus is our Savior. And everybody said, Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Ang mga palapakan natin si Lord John. Hallelujah. Now listen. It was faith that made Peter walk on water. It was grace that saved him from sinking. And everybody said amen. That's a little revelation from all of us here today. It was faith that made him walk on water. It was the grace of God that saved him from sinking. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor right now, you need a little push. Come on. Come on. Tell your neighbor, you need a little push. Hallelujah. And all it takes is to follow his voice. Keep walking by faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. And everybody said amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed, church? Are you blessed? You need a little push. Sabi ho nung lalaki doon sa kwento kanina, who pushed me? Hallelujah. Kahit hindi siya nag-volunteer, naging bayani siya. Nadiscover niya na meron pala siyang magagawa na hindi pa niya nagawa before. Can I hear an amen? You need a little push. Like na aman in 2 Kings chapter 5 or Naaman no Naaman or Naaman like Naaman hallelujah you need a little push sino po ba si Naaman you know like Naaman you need a little push from a young girl's faith si Peter na challenge dun sa young boy's faith 
Grabe. Iba talaga yung mga bata, Pastor Jerry. No? Iba yung pananampalataya ng mga bata. No? Na nare-rebuke yung mga big boys. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Could you please look at your neighbor right now? Are you a big boy? Hallelujah. Are you a big girl? Hallelujah. See, like Naaman, you need a little push from a young girl's faith to experience an extraordinary miracle. Now, who is Naaman? Who, who is the Ammon? Sino po ba siya? This man is a general in the Syrian army. He was a very successful military general. Siya ay isang tunay na lalaki. Siya ay matapang. Everybody say, atapang ako. Hallelujah. Can I hear the name, man? Siya ay matapang. Siya ay magaling. Siya ay matalino. Siya ay madiskarte. Siya ay maabilidad. Siya ay matagumpay. Pero, mayabang. Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Matapang pero mayabang. Magaling pero mayabang. Mahangin. Malaki ang ulo. Maangas. Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Yan si General na Aman. Meron siyang malaking problema na walang solusyon. The Bible says, he has an incurable disease. Isang sakit na walang gamot, walang lunas. Sakit na nakakahawa. By the way, hindi po ito COVID-19. Hallelujah. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kamo, palapakan mo na si Lord John. Hallelujah. No? He has an incurable disease. Sakit na nakakahawa. That is why he has to be in a special quarantine. No? Kaya nga si Naaman nakaka-relate sa marami sa atin. Hallelujah. No? Hindi po ito COVID, pero in those days, ang tawag doon, leprosy, ketong. Nung panahon na yun, walang lunas, walang gamot. Ang sakit na yun. Wala pang natidiscovering vaccine. Hallelujah. Nung panahon ni Naaman. No? Kaya, you know, parang binibilang na, niya, na lang niya yung kanyang mga araw. The Bible says, his servant girl, kay po ba yun pa? No? His servant girl, this little girl, gave her a little push. Everybody say, you need a little push. Hallelujah. His servant girl gave her a little push and said, uh, uh, Sir, why don't you go to see our prophet Elisha? Asan si Elisha? Hallelujah. Yung ating batang uh, ano dito, no? worship leader. Hallelujah. Ta ang pangalan niya, Elisha. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, uh, why don't you go to see our prophet Elisha? Elisha, so, so you can be healed. Basahin natin sa 2 Kings 5, 1 to 3, sabi dyan. At this time, sabi dyan, the king, go ahead, verse 1. Come on, go to verse 1. Hallelujah. The king of Aram had great admiration for Naaman. Everybody say Naaman. The commander of his army. Because through him, the Lord had given Aram great victories. But though Naaman was a mighty warrior, look at this. He suffered from leprosy. Verse 2. Look at this. Ano sabi dyan? At this time, Aramean raiders had invaded the land of Israel and among their captives was a young girl. Ito na po yan, young girl who had been given to Naaman's wife as a maid. One day, the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in, in Samaria. He would heal him of his leprosy. So a little push from a little girl. Sabi niya, punta po kayo to sabi propeta, si prophet Elisha. So, sabi ni Naaman, wala naman, you know, mawawala sa akin. So, he went to visit the prophet. Tuloy natin ng kwento. 2 Kings 5, 9 to 12. So, Naaman went with, with his horses. Tingnan mo, oh. grabe, no? Kumbaga, ano, kumbaga sa ano, para siyang, you know, pero siyang entourage, no? Talagang, ang daming mga sasakyan na sumusunod sa kanya. He went with his horse, horses and chariots and talagang medyo maangas, mayabang. No? Ito yung dating niya. No, talagang malakas ang dating. So, and waited at the door of Elisha's house, a humble house. So, uh, kumatok siya. 
Ang sabi ng kwento, imbes na si Elisha ang humarap sa kanya, nagpadala na lang ng messenger si Elisha. Hindi ko siya hinarap ni Elisha. Ito yung pinasabi. But Elisha sent a messenger out to him with his message. Ito lang message. Go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Then your skin will be restored and you will be healed of your leprosy. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Pero ito yung reaction. Ito, anong reaction ni Naaman? Ito na po. Lumabas sa yung kayabangan. Hallelujah. So nung marinig po niya yan, hindi sa hinarap ni Naaman. Sabi dyan. But Naaman became angry and he stalked away. I thought he would certainly come out to meet me. He said, I expected him to wave his hand. Yung parang ganun lang, no? Yung parang lay hands on over the leprosy and call on the name of the Lord his God and heal me. And the rivers of Damascus, the Abana and the Farfar, better than any of the rivers of Israel. Why shouldn't I wash in them and be healed? So, anong sabi? Naaman turned and went away in the rage. Nagalit siya. Umalis. He felt insulted. Why? Naaman was a great hero. A great hero. Who was used to getting respect. And he was so angry when Elisha treated him like an ordinary person. Yung trato sa kanya ng prophet, parang hindi siya something special. Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? No, you're, you know, you're just ordinary. Parang, yun ang naramdaman niya, parang ordinary lang siya. A proud man who expected a royal treatment. Ito yung, paraphrase yung kanyang reaction. Pangalan po kasi niya, naaman. So nung hindi siya hinarap ni Elisha, ito yung reaction niya. Naman. Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Naman. Huwag naman, huwag naman ganun. Konting respeto. Naman. Hallelujah. Kasi ang pangalan niya, naaman eh. No? Sabi niya, naman. Huwag naman ganun. Konting respeto. Naman. You know, to wash in a big, great river is one thing. But to wash in the Jordan River, Come on, man. Parang naman. Small and dirty. To wash in the Jordan River na Amon thought was beneath a man of his position. Jordan River? By the way, I was there in the Jordan River twice in Israel already. And let me tell you this. No? In Israel, talaga namang napakaliit lang ng ilog na ito at hindi naman talaga crystal clear Yung tubig, maliit lang. A very ordinary river. But listen to this. But the Jordan River is a place of humility. Did you hear me? The Jordan River may not be a great river, but it is a river where miracles happen because it is a place of humility. Remember Joshua. Remember Jesus going down in the water, humbling himself. The Jordan River is a place where we need to humble ourselves because that is where the miracle starts. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord dyan? Hallelujah. So the Bible says na Ammon turned away and went away with a rage. But not with a little more push from his officers. Ang sabi ng kanyang mga sundalo sa kanya, Sir, everybody say, Sir, hallelujah, come on. Tell your neighbor right now, Sir, hallelujah. Sir, sabi ng mga sundalo niya, you wanna be healed? Kayo po ba nandyan ba? Sir, you wanna be healed? Alam niyo po sa, sa sagot ni, ni Amen? Oo, naaman. Hallelujah. Oo, naman. Hallelujah. Can I hear Amen? Hallelujah. Sir, gusto niyo po bang gumaling? Sabi ni, ni naaman. Oo, naman. Hallelujah. Ito sabi ng mga sandalo niya. Sir, swallow your pride. Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Sir, 
Bright lang yan. Kayo po ba'y nandiyan? <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor Jerry, nag-enjoy ka ba dito? Hallelujah. Swallow your pride. Yun lang po. Pride lang po yan. Pride will keep you from your miracle. Kayo po ba'y nandiyan pa? Alam niyo po, tinignan ko po sa uh, Google yung anong ibig sabihin ng swallow your pride. Ito po yung ibig sabihin ng swallow your pride. Swallow your pride means to do something although it will make you feel embarrassed or ashamed. Yung ibig sabihin ng swallow your pride. No? It means to do something although it will make you feel embarrassed or ashamed. Kayo po ba'y nandiyan pa? Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Swallow your pride. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 2 Kings 5.13. Anong sabi? But his officers tried to reason with him and said, Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you have done it? Kung may pinagawa yung prophet sa'yo na napakahirap, hindi mo ba gagawin? Sir, ang dali lang po. Dali lang po ng pinapagawa niya. Kaya lang, kaya hindi niyo magawa. Kasi mayabang ka eh. May posisyon ka kasi. May reputasyon ka kasi. Kasi ordinary lang yung River Jordan eh. Pero sir, malay nyo, doon nagsisimula yung Himala. So hello your pride, sir. Wouldn't you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says simply, go, go and wash and be cured. Sir, all it takes is to humble yourself to be healed. Set aside your reputation and position. Don't let your ego hold you back. Obedience to God begins with humility. Did you hear that? Can you just show that right now? Obedience to God begins with humility. We must believe that His way is better than our own. We may not always understand His ways of working but by humbly obeying, we receive His blessing. Can I hear an amen? Mahalag, hindi mo naitindihan yung pamamaraan niya. Pero it takes a humble obedience to receive His blessing. And don't ever forget this. Always remember, God's way are always the best. Can I hear an amen? Come on, hallelujah. God's ways our best hallelujah god wants our obedience more than anything else and god can use anything to accomplish his purpose he can use a humble jordan river to heal you to bless you and all it takes is for you to swallow your pride let go of that ego and humble yourself in obedience to God. And everybody said, Amen. That is why in 2 Kings 5.14, finally, sumunod si Naaman, set aside his reputation and his position. He swallowed his pride. And then it says there, so Naaman, eto na, went down. <laughs> Come on, everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> finally, Woo! Just a little push. Went down to the Jordan River. And, slowly but surely, siguro sa isip niya, bakit hindi na lang isang beses? Bakit pitong beses pa? So, seven times. Woo! Tinitinan niya yung balat niya. Nandiyo pa rin. Woo! Okay. Seven times now. Sige, talagang swallow your pride eh. No? Humble yourself. Okay, sige pa. Oh. Oh, third, three, and then four. Oh, hallelujah. Five. 
Sabi sa rin niya, ang hirap nito. Hallelujah. Pero sige, swallow your pride. Ah, sex. Oh. And then, it, siguro ito na, sabi niya. Oh, seven. Seven. Pag-angat niya on the seventh time, ano sabi niya? As the man of God has instructed him. And on the seventh time, sabi ng Bible, his skin became as healthy as the skin of a young child. And that very moment, he was Heal. He experienced a miracle. Pwede ba natin pala pakasilo dyan? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise to that. Whew. Hallelujah. Whew. Seven times. It is a test of humble ob- obedience. Now listen very carefully, church. Your miracle, your breakthrough will come not just in a one-time humble obedience, But sometimes, it takes a repeated, ulit-ulit na pagsunod at pagpapakumbaba. Kumisan, hindi ka lang isa lang, kundi ulit-ulit. Hallelujah. Repeated obedience and humility. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, tuloy-tuloy lang. Come on, hallelujah. Swallow your pride. Oh, hallelujah. Pray until something happens. Obey until something happens. Humble yourself until something happens. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise, church. Hallelujah. What is God telling you today? Do you want a breakthrough? Do you want to see healing and miracles in your life? Do you want to see healing and change in your relationship? Hallelujah. Swallow your pride. Humble yourself. The first to apologize and ask sorry is the better person. Sino po rito yung Hallelujah. You know, ang prayer ko po na sa araw na ito maraming mga relationship ang makaranas ng healing of relationship. Can I hear? Palapakan mo muna si Lord. Come on church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Huwag mo nang patagalin pa. Hallelujah. Swallow your pride. Magpakumbaba ka na. Yan ang mga itinataas ni Jesus. Jesus said, He who humbles himself, I will lift him up. Mas malapit ang Diyos sa mga taong mabababa ang loob. Malayo sa mga mapagmalaki at mayayabag. Come on, humble yourself. Swallow your pride. Huwag mo na siyang hintayin. Sabi mo sa kanya, sorry. Sabi mo sa kanya, honey. Hallelujah. Sorry na. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Lord, release healing of relationships. Healing of relationships. That's my prayer today. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang po, saludo po ako sa mga ilan nating mga kababayan na nawalan ng kanilang mga reputable jobs na wala ng trabaho. Pero hindi sila nagpatinag. Ang dami ho natin nababalita na ganoon, mga kababayan ho natin na nawala ng napakagandang trabaho. Pero ang ginawa nila, they find ways to earn a living. Even a humble business startup. Ang dami ho natin nakikita mga kwento na ganyan. At sinasaluduan po natin sila. Hallelujah. You know, mga flight attendant na nawala ng trabaho. You know, even some you know, good position. Pero, you know, they find ways. We know. It could be the beginning of something bigger. Can I hear an amen? Kung minsan, pakinggan niyo po ako, ang mga malalaking himala ay nagsisimula sa mga malilit na bagay. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Malilit na himala. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. It could be, you know, the opening, you know, for some of you, of lost something, a job or a position, you know. Just humble yourself. Swallow your pride. Can I hear an amen? Well, you know, God is preparing you. God is about to prepare you for a miracle of an open door. Can I hear a name? And it could be the opening of a new door of opportunity in your life. Sino po naniniwala dyan? Magtaas ka ng kamay. Come on, hallelujah. Would you please stand with me right now? Come on. Come on, come on. Everybody just stand with me right now. Yarabasya katarabahanda. Yarabasya katarabahanda rabasanda rabakanda raba. Hallelujah. Could you please tell your neighbor right now you need a little push. Hallelujah. Just like Peter, just like Peter, follow his voice. Hallelujah. Keep 
walking by faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus. You need a little push. Follow His voice. Keep walking by faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Just like Naaman, swallow your pride. Humble yourself and just obey. It's as simple as that. Swallow your pride. Humble yourself. Just obey. And then the next thing you know, doors will be open unto you. Hallelujah. Oh, breakthroughs and miracles will flow and see what God can and will do. And everybody said, Amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise, church? Come on, hallelujah. Would you just lift your hands with me right now? Come on, lift them up high and let the Holy Spirit just speak to us right now. Oh, Rabba, Shakata, Rabba, Handa, Rabba, Shikata. Lord, thank you again for this wonderful day, Father God. Oh, Rabba, Shaka, that you are speaking to us today. Hallelujah, Rabba, Lord, you are speaking, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, you are speaking to maybe a lot of discouraged people right now. And all it takes is a little push, Lord. Lord, meron po sa amin, Panginoon, na di-discourage na, Panginoon, sa patong-patong, Lord God, na, na problema, hallelujah, sa malalakas na, Lord, hangin ng pagsubok, Lord God, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, just hear the voice of Jesus saying to you right now, come on, walk on the water, keep on walking by faith in Jesus' name, keep your eyes on Jesus. Not on the waves, not on the problem, but on Jesus. Come on, everybody say, eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Rabba Shakata Rabba Handa Rabba. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yakarama Sikata Rabba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, right now. Oh, Rabba. Lord, I pray that you release healing right now, Lord. Urama Sikata Rabba Handa Rabba. Lord. Oh, dahil po sa hindi na mga pagsubok at problema na pinagdadaanan ng marami, kuminsan naaapektuhan po ang mga relasyon ng mag-asawa, ng pamilya, Father God. Lord, I pray right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you touch and bless every family right now. Lord, let your love flow, Lord God. Let forgiveness flow, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of Lord. Lord, papag-isahin mo ang puso at spirito ng bawat pamilya upang marinig mo ang bawat panalangin na kanilang sasambitin. Oh, upang ikaw ay makagawa ng Himala. Maybe what's keeping them, Father God, from experiencing a breakthrough, Lord God, is pride. Right now, I break the spirit of pride in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rabashikata Rabahan. Lord, heal relationships right now. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Iangat mo, Father God, ang mga nagpapakumbaba. Hallelujah. Palakasin mo ang mga nagpapakumbaba. Pagalingin mo ang mga nagpapakumbaba. In the name of Jesus. Yaraba, sikataraba, handaraba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Oh, receive healing right now. Receive His grace right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Ah. Oh. Ah, you need a little push, hallelujah. And you've received that push today. Hallelujah, Rabba Shika Don't ever, ever give up, hallelujah. Ang sitwasyon mo lang ang nagbabago, pero ang Diyos, hallelujah, hindi siya magbabago. Mananatili siyang tapat, hallelujah. Magpakailanman sa'yo, hallelujah. Thank you. He will sustain you, hallelujah. He will strengthen you. He will bless you in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. And all it takes is a little push, hallelujah. Would you just lift your hands right now? Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Sing a prophetic song to the Lord. Hallelujah. You make me brave, Lord. Hallelujah. You make me brave. Come on, sing it out. You make me brave. You call me out beyond the storm into the waves. Oh, you.
Yes, Lord, oh God, release the spirit of revival, oh God. Awaken our soul, awaken our spirit, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church, hallelujah. Oh, be filled with the Holy Spirit, come on. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, let the Holy Spirit fill you now, hallelujah. Oh, yarabashika tarabakandaraba, panibagong lakas. Ang nararanasan mo ngayon, hallelujah. Panibagong sigla ang binibigay ni Lord sa iyo sa oras na ito. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shakarabasika tarabahandaraba. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. There's somebody here, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matagal mo na itong binibitbit. Matagal mo na itong dinadala. A big burden on your back, hallelujah. And God is taking away that big burden, hallelujah. Like in the Pilgrim's Progress, hallelujah, that story. God is taking away that big burden and God is setting you free right now in Jesus' name. I declare you are free from that burden in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Meron pong narito, hallelujah, rabashika, rabakanda, rabah. Meron kang pamamaga sa iyong mga paa, hallelujah. I don't know because of infection. The Holy Spirit, through the power of Jesus' name, is healing you right now. Bahashika taraba, kundaraba, shikaraba. Oh, yes, Lord God. Yakaraba, handaraba, handaraba. God heal, Lord God, yung... Lord God, yung mga paana na mamaga in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Ya rabashika taraba. Oh, come on, receive your healing, church. Come on, hallelujah, rabashika taraba. Lord God, dinataas po namin lahat ng mga may karamdaman sa oras po kita, Father God. Let your healing flow right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Bahashika rama. Bahashika raba. Kanda raba. Handa raba. Ear infection. You are being healed right now. Ear infection. You are being healed in Jesus' name. Bahashika raba. Kanda raba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody say, thank you, Jesus. Ura bahashika taraba. Kanda raba. Shika raba. Handa raba. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence right now. Oh, raba. Shika taraba. Handa raba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise, church? Come on, give Him praise. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Are you ready to, to make a prophetic declaration today? Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody say, I am strong. Come on, hallelujah. Woo! Come on, church. Woo! Clear this with me. I am strong and full of life. Oh, yes. I am steadfast, no compromise. I lift my sails to the sky. I'm gonna catch the wind. I'm gonna catch the wind. Declare it. I'm born, no fear inside. Spread my wings, open my life. Yes, like an eagle who saw me the sky. I'm gonna catch the wind. We're going to catch you in. Be confident, church. Declare it. Your faithfulness will never let me down. I'm confident I see your goodness now. Yes, you will. And I know. Oh! 
Sing it one more time. Your faithfulness. Your faithfulness will never let us down. Oh, we're confident. I will see your goodness now, right now. And we It's about all eyes that are closed. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him will no longer die, but will have an everlasting life. Would you open your heart today and come to the source of life? The way, the truth, and the life. His name is Jesus Christ, the author of life. Hallelujah. Would you open your heart and come to Him with humility and repentance? Magbalik loob ka lang sa Kanya. Would you pray this prayer with us? If you know that there is a push of the Spirit's voice speaking to you right here, right now. Pray this with us. Sabihin mo lang, Dear Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus today, I come to you, today I come to you. I realize I am a sinner, I am a sinner and I need a Savior. Need a savior. Jesus, Jesus, be my Savior. Be my, savior. Be my, Lord. Be my Lord. Today, today I, repent of all my sins. I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Cleanse me, me, change, change me, me, and set me and free set today. Me free. I open my heart, I open my heart and I receive and you receive as my Lord, my Lord and my Savior. My Savior. I, confess in my mouth, I confess in my mouth and I believe in my heart, I believe in my heart that you came, that you, came you died for you me, died for you, me. Rose, from the you dead, rose from the dead so I can receive, I can receive the, gift the gift of life, of life. by faith. And by grace, by grace I, receive I receive the gift, the gift of, eternal life. of eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, Today I, know I know I am forgiven, I am forgiven redeemed, redeemed, and justified. And and I am free today. I am free today. From this day forward, this day forward I, will love you, I will love you. I will honor you. I will honor you and I will follow you. I will follow you. In your name I pray. I pray. And everybody said, Amen and amen and amen. Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord Jesus? Come on, hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. It is the biggest and greatest miracle in the life of a person. Hallelujah. Experiencing the grace of salvation that can only be found in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Pwede ba nang palakpakan natin si Lord? Come on, church. Hallelujah. Woo! Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is now a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Hallelujah. Praise God. The beginning of your new life has started 
today and we welcome you to God's family today. Welcome to His life, City Church. Hallelujah. Your family from this day forward. Hallelujah. Palapakan natin si Lord Church. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today, Church? Hallelujah. Are you empowered today, Church? Hallelujah. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, you need a little push. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord another big, big hand of praise, Church? Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you encouraged today? Are you empowered today, church? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to bless you with a prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord bless you with His shalom. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with open doors. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with supernatural provision. The Lord bless you with miracles. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. The Lord bless your family in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all shout, Amen and Amen. God bless you, church. See you next Sunday and see you soon for our physical gathering. Hallelujah. God bless you.